Hi, my name is Alex Warford and this is Don Pico and um, we would like to show you how you can efficiently move data from Kafka to Impala or Hive or you know wherever really. Um, and so this is a question that I asked a couple of years ago in, on Stack Overflow. Um, at the time I was working for an ad tech company and I'd built this horrible process and I was thinking there must be a better way of doing this. I, ha I had way too many steps um, to go from uh, you know, Kafka to Impala. And so uh, I think uh, I have a much better solution and I thought I'd share it. So um, in this example, I have, um, I've, I'm streaming data from PubNub. So, so these are weather events um, from uh, capitals around the, uh, the, the US. Um, and um, in this case, I'm streaming this from Kafka and I'm putting it into Hive. And uh, there's a couple of extra steps here, and and these are these are only necessary for um, this step here. This uh, expression evaluator is adding a timestamp, and um, this field converter is changing some of the data types. Um, but this is just to clean up the, the 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 JSON that's coming in. Really, I could have had Kafka consumer and Hive streaming processor. Um, so in the Hive streaming processor, there's a couple of things that I had set up. Give it a, a thrift URL, tell it the table. And um, I also needed um, the Hive uh, configuration files. So these are things like Hive site.xml. And uh, it, yeah, so I, I, just, I just downloaded those and put those in a local folder. That, this is typical um, for getting clients to contact, uh, to talk to a Hadoop cluster, you, you, you'll, you'll typically export those config files. And the way you do that, I mean, you can go to a service in Hive, and then if this is a Hortonworks cluster, you can say, you know, download client configs. And I, I, uh, so that's uh, how you get those config files. Uh, in here, um, Hive now supports ACID transactions. So I switched ACID transactions on, and I'm running a compactor. And what this is doing, um, it's enabling uh, us to um, roll in records to an efficient file format. So under the hood, this table is an ORC, that's uh, optimized row column format. And um, it needs to roll in the uh, new um, transactions and that's what the uh, this compactor is doing. Um, so if we uh, hop over um, to um, the table creation statement here, so I, I created a table. There's a couple of things. Um, that are worth pointing out to make this work. So there's table properties, transactional equals true. If that's not enabled, um, you, you can't uh, append uh, records uh, to the table um, in this way. Uh, and it needs to be uh, clustered, um, clustered and bucketed. So anyway, there's, there's a couple of peculiarities about creating the table, but once you've done that, um, you should be able to see the streaming data. So let's run a quick uh, select query and you, we should be able to see this. Select star from PubNub weather. It should return fairly quickly. Okay, and yeah, here we go. So we can see there's our timestamp that we added and uh, um, you know, the, the, the data landed in the Hive table. Um, I also wanted to show you how you can do this in Kudu. This is even simpler, right? I have uh, a Kafka consuming messages from a, a message queue here, and I'm pushing them straight into Kudu. Um, so let's have a quick look and see what I had to do. So in this case, I had to create some mappings between the field names and the column names in the table, and uh, basically give it a, a Kudu uh, master and you know, I want to insert these tables. I could have done an upsert or something like that. Um, and uh, yeah, just hit play and that, that's it. That's really all there is to it. And uh, so if we have a quick look at who Q, um, we can see the, the data showing up in that table. Um, so anyway, that that is a lot simpler than this. And I think uh, the data collector is a, a really uh, convenient way of um, moving data from Kafka into uh, you know, your, your NoSQL or your Hadoop cluster.